Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of some of the new editing features available in Screencastify. Screencastify just released some updates this week, so I thought I'd make a quick little video to show you how those work. But before we do that, we need to first create a Screencastify video. And you can see I have Screencastify installed as a Chrome extension. Again, it's free to get the Chrome extension for Screencastify. Just click on that link and then you'll select whether you want to record your browser tab, your desktop, if you want to use your webcam or not, your microphone or not. I recommend having both turned on. And let's go down to show more options here. And let's make sure we have show drawing tools turned on. And I also like to have a little countdown to let me know when I should start talking in the video. So that's what we're going to do right now is record a little demo of a screencast of this slide that I have on my screen right here. All right, so we're going to launch the Screencastify recorder here. It's going to give me a three, two, one countdown. And we'll see my webcam is down here in the bottom right hand corner. And I have all of my drawing tools. And in my drawing tools, we'll see my mouse pointer, which you can see here I can have with clicks or focus or the classic or even firework effects. But I'm gonna go back here to this pen option. I wanna point out to my students that this map highlighting New England is actually missing Vermont. They forgot to include Vermont in this map highlight of the New England states. We live here in Maine, but Vermont isn't that far away. and It is actually part of New England. Now let's go back over here and we can put a rectangle around it. Let's put a rectangle around New England. There we are. And you can see here, I can clear the screen and go back to just this blank screen as well. Now let's go over here, let's go back here. And let's switch to my white slide, my blank white slide, and take a look at some of the other tools we can use here. Let's change out the color. Maybe I want to use purple and do a little lesson on adding two plus two. Obviously my drawing didn't come out so well, so let's just clear the screen and try it again. And there we have it. And I can clear that screen again. Now, one of the things that I think is kind of fun, besides using these drawings for rectangles and whatnot, I like the option here to use stickers and put a little sticker on my screen, do a little thumbs up. And I can clear that as well. Now, let's end that recording. And we'll see here, it's going to automatically back up to my Google Drive. Once it's backed up, we're going to open it in the editor and look at the new editing features that are available in Screencastify. All right, so now that my video has been saved and backed up to my Google Drive, let's go into the editor. I'm going to open in editor here and we'll take a look at all the things that we can use in the updated Screencastify video editor. So here we have it. One of the first things that we can do is we can cut the video. So let's say we wanna do a little cutting and let's select just a little tiny bit of the video at the beginning. And I'm gonna cut just that little section. So I'm gonna cut just, I just cut the tiny little beginning of it there. I'm going to highlight it, hit my delete key, and I've cut that part of the video out. At the very beginning of the video where I wasn't quite ready to start talking yet, but the camera cop captured me anyway. Now, one of the other things I really like in the editor is with this text editor here, I can overlay some text and say, this is not an accurate map of New England. 
And you can see I can move that around. I'll put it over here on the edge of the screen. And if I highlight my text, I can even enlarge it and bold it. I can change the style of text. I can even go in and change the color of my text. Maybe I'll make it blue or orange or red. And now I've overlaid that on my video. And say, there it is, it's not an accurate map of New England. So I can do that. Now, I also have the option to adjust how long that text is displayed for. And I do that by just clicking and dragging on that yellow marker to show how long I want my text to be displayed. Now, another new feature for editing here in Screencastify is found down here in the audio track. And you'll see we have this new edit audio option. And that's what we're going to take a look at right now. Let's edit the audio. And here we have, now that I've clicked on my audio, the option to adjust the volume for the video itself. And you can see there's the default, but I'm going to lower it down. But let's jump ahead here to this section. And we can see... I can again adjust that audio. And let's click done right there. Now, there's a couple other neat features in here. Depending upon the type of video that you're using, you may want to zoom in or zoom out. So let's go back to this earlier part of the video when I was talking, where I was talking about the map and the inaccuracy of the map itself. So what I'm going to do is I want to zoom in on this portion of the map up here. And let's select that zoom in. It's going to happen right there. Click done. And so when the video plays, we'll zoom in on that little portion. Now, I want to move that zoom. So let's move it back a little bit. Just click and drag. And let's try it again. See how my zoom works. And we can see there my zoom zoomed in and zoomed out for that amount of time. And again, I can adjust that by just clicking and dragging the edges around that marker. It makes it really easy to adjust my zoom. And now the last feature I want to show you in the updated Screencastify editor is an option that's going to be great if you are having students make videos or if you have anything in your video that might be a little bit sensitive and you want to hide. Well, let's say I want to hide my profile picture. Well, I can click on Blur. And up here, I can now blur that profile. I'm going to add my blur. So there's my blur. And I'm going to blur that upper right corner of the screen. And again, if I want to adjust that blur, let's just drag it. And I'm going to have it blurred the entire length that my video plays. Now, let's go ahead and export that video. I'm going to export that as an MP4 video. So I can use it wherever I want. Let's call it Demo Video 997 and download it. So those are some of the new features that are available in the updated version of Screencastify's video editor. Everything you saw me do there, you can do completely for free in Screencastify. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.